So this is our month of triumph. This is our month of triumph. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith. First John 5, 4. Revelation 12, 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb by the words of their testimony and they loved not their life unto death. Triumph talks about victory. There is no victory without battles. One battles become victory. One battles. So when you see someone like uh, Chidi came, came here, you know, the testimony of a new job. <laughs> Angels and demons fought since February, isn't it? Angels and demons fought. This guy can even feel it in his body that they were fighting. <laughs> Sometimes I will look at him and say, God, just help him. He's going through his own motion. So when you now say, I got a, I got a letter that I'll be employed for something. Man, the devil comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy you. It is, his, it is my business to teach and preach the word of God. It is the devil's business to steal, kill, and destroy. So you think it's, there is no mercy with devil. He doesn't have ability to be merciful. That's the reason why when he was distributing himself into four cardinal factors, he said principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in our places. Those are the four cardinal divisions of the Satan head. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Now? He is to back to you where there is no cancer, a plant can. Do you know how many times cancers have been removed out of your body? Because we are praying in the Holy Ghost and you did not. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and you know, forget not all his benefit. He said, The Lord who forgives your iniquities and heals your diseases. There are many diseases God heals without you knowing. He, there is nobody here that the devil has not plagued with cancer. Jesus removed it. He was wounded for a transgression. Buddhists were iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his tribe, we were healed. Something is a terminal disease and can kill everybody very quickly. You think the devil is joking? <laughs> no, he just didn't put it fully. He said, But as we're speaking, God, like, he's a pillar, da, da, da. You, you bring up the shield of faith with which you quench the fiery, fiery dart. That means arrow sought. On the wicked. We, we, you build up yourself on your most holy faith. Pray. That's the reason why. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh. Because now you don't know you want to be sick. All you are praying for is that God give me a job. Father, I will die if I don't get a job. And the devil knows there is something greater than God. That he will get that job in the news. The nearness news is cancer. But as you stand, they say, Oh, Lima said, Tingam, Prinuli, Kurin, Kurin, Mananda, Inli, Kiman, Sofara, Da, Da, Da. The Holy Ghost said, Remove that, that, now. And the devil with shame removed it. And you didn't know. He also delivered us from destruction. So, but, listen. Our victory depends solely on the perfect work of Christ and the faith of the saints. Listen. Listen. Victory means how your life is. That's the meaning. Let us do mathematics. <laughs> How your life is now is the level of victory you have gained. Just look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> How your life is <laughs> with all the virtues of it. <laughs> As you look at yourself, <laughs> so, so this is the only victory <laughs> that I've got. Then you go back to the driver and say, <laughs> it, it, it's a, One thousand times, no, no. The victory that Christ accomplished for us through the finished work. Everybody, whether you call them Morocco, Simon, or whatever, they are still scratching the tip of the, the surface and the tip of the iceberg. They are still scratching it. Nobody has been able to get to the depth of the riches of the wisdom. Of the things accomplished for us. That cannot be, that cannot be comprehended by human mind. Jesus did not faint. He went into hell. He took the power of death and hell. He swallowed up death in victory. That means no Christian should die except he wants to die. That's the extent 
of the power that is in us. If the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he will quicken your mortal body each time you don't want to die anymore. Paul said, I am in between two things. He got a hold of that power. I am in between two things. Either to depart to Christ, which is, which is better for me, or to stay with you, which is game for you. He said, but I decide I'm going to stay here. He was the one who decided there is no death now. When he was to die, now I said, I'm being poured forth as an offering. I want to go. Sickness, when you dig into this power, no sickness can stay on your body. No disease can stay on your body. As a matter of fact, from the moment Jesus died, you were more than a trillionaire because you were returned to Eden. And there were rivers in Eden that flow with gold and the gold is good. Gold is prosperity. But you see, as good as the perfected work is, it is the faith of the believer. For whoever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Jesus overcame the world. Then you have to overcome the world by your faith. Your faith is the foundation of the word of testimony. They overcame it by the blood of the Lamb. He should have stopped there. We will have been okay. They overcame by the blood of the we just started rejoicing. We overcame it by the blood of the Lamb. We overcame. He said, by the words of their testimony, he said, no, don't put that one. <laughs> and this was an heavenly piece of number, somebody writing an epistle. The, the, the angel of the presence of Jesus came to, pee, to, to John to say this. Therefore, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the work that is left for every aspect of your life to be what God wants you to be is your faith. Your faith determines your level. This is what triumph stands on. And I went through last week, you know, Mark chapter 11 from verse 23 to 25. If a man has faith like the grain of mustard seed and said to this mountain, be thou removed into the sea and does not doubt, he shall have whatever he says. And when you start praying, believe that you receive those things and you shall have them. It's your faith now. What now determines where you are now is your faith now. Your faith now determines your faith. It is not the country where you are that determines your faith. It is your faith. It is not the course you read that determines your faith. It is your faith. It is not the parent that gave birth to you that determines your faith. F-A-T-E. It is your faith. It is not the color you have that determines your faith. F-A-T-E. It is your faith. So everybody now either rises or falls by their faith. 